A new Centers for Disease Control and Prevention study published Tuesday found that although the Omicron variant has shattered COVID-19 case and hospitalization records, other factors have shown it's still less severe than other waves in the pandemic. The highly contagious variant has pushed the U.S. to break 1 million cases in a day multiple times and the pace of reported deaths is currently above 15 per week. But despite Omicron seeing the highest reported numbers of hospitalizations during the pandemic, the ratio of emergency department visits and hospitalizations to case numbers were actually lower compared to the COVID waves from the Delta variant and during winter 2020-21, the study says. Intensive care unit admission, length of stay, and in-hospital deaths were all lower during Omicron. The CDC report says, likely in part due to vaccinations and booster shots. 207 million Americans have been vaccinated during Omicron's period, compared to 178 million during Delta and only 1.5 million during the winter 2020-21 period. Although Omicron is seemingly less severe, its contagiousness is still stretching the medical system to its limits. The number of people with COVID visiting emergency departments was 86% higher than during Delta, according to the CDC. The federal government recently sent military medical teams to six states to help hospitals overburdened by the coronavirus, and governors have ordered the Ohio and Kansas National Guard to hospitals to help alleviate staffing issues. The CDC report tracked data up until January 15, when the rise in hospital admissions seemed to be slowing. Only 40 percent of the U.S. population has received the extra COVID-19 vaccination dose, considerably lower than the 63 percent who are fully vaccinated against the virus. California Governor Gavin Newsom and state lawmakers reached an agreement Tuesday to re-mandate that employers must provide up to two weeks of COVID-19 supplemental paid sick leave. Last year's paid leave plan expired in September 2021. U.S. Senator Mark Warner of Virginia has tested positive for a breakthrough case of COVID-19 and is working from home with extremely mild symptoms, his office said Tuesday.